hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this tutorial series we are creating these course cards using html css and javascript and in the previous video we added the css and this is how it looks right now and it is also responsive so if we decrease the width of the browser window this is how it looks on a tablet version and this is the mobile version so we have designed everything using css now in this video i'll show you how to make it dynamic so we will store all these details inside a javascript file and we will generate all these course cards based on the data that we have in our javascript so let's get started all right here is our source code and uh, if you scroll down we can see that we have already linked our javascript file over here and if we take a look at this uh, source code here, we can see that we have added all these card divisions over here inside the courses container division. So we have this card division over here for the first card and in that we have the category and the title and all of these things over here. So we have added all of these things over here in the HTML itself. Now what we're going to do is we're going to generate all this code of this card division using JavaScript. So let's go to our JavaScript file and the first thing we need to do is we need to create an array of objects. So let's tap const and we'll just name it courses. And uh, let's create an array and in the array we will have several objects. So for the object let's create curly braces. Now in this object we will store all the details that we have over here. So we need to store the category, the thumbnail image, the title, the description, the price, the duration and also the link of the course. So let's go back to our JavaScript file and uh, let's add all of those details over here. So let's type URL for the link of the course and for now I'll just type hash. You can add the link of your course over here and let's add a comma and the next thing we will have is the title. So let's type title and the first title we need to have is drawing essentials. So let's type that over here. And the next thing we will have is the thumbnail URL. So I'll just type thumbnail. And uh, the thumbnail URL is basically the link of the image. Now all the images are inside the images folder. So let's type images forward slash. And the first image is called, let's see, it's called course1.png. So let's type that over here. So this is the value of the thumbnail. Now the next thing we need to have is the category. So here we have a category of art. So let's create a new value over here. So let's type category art. And the next thing we need to have is the description. So let's type description. And uh, let's add the description over here. And then we need to have the price. So let's type price. And the price is $299.99. And then lastly, we have the duration. So let's type duration. And the duration is 12 hours. So that's basically it with the first course. Now in this way, you can go ahead and add any number of courses you want. So I'll just quickly go ahead and add the details of all the other courses. Alright, so I have added the details of all the courses over here. So here you can see we have the course one, which is drawing essentials. Then we have design master class, which is the second course over here. And in this way, we have added the details of all the courses over here. Now, if you want to add more courses, you can just go ahead and copy this and paste it down here and just change these details. All right, now the next thing we need to do is we need to create this markup. So we need to have this card division and in that we have the anchor tag and in that we have all these elements. Now we need to delete all of this from here from the HTML and we need to generate all of these using JavaScript. So let's go ahead and create a function for that. So here I'll just create a function and I'll just name it display course. Now in this function we're going to get some arguments over here. So we need to get all these arguments into this function and we're going to use them inside this function. So let's add the names of the arguments over here. So I'll just name it URL value for the URL value. And then we have the title. So I'll just name it title value. And then we have category. So I'll just name it category value. And then we have thumbnail value. You can name these anything you want. Description value. 
price value and lastly we have duration value all right now the next thing we will do is we'll create all these elements so the first thing we need to create is this course card so let's create a constant and let's name it card equals document dot create element and we'll create a div element so here we can see we have this div with the class of card so let's add a class of card over here so let's tap card dot class list dot add card so now we have created a division with a class of card with these two lines of code now the next thing we will do is we'll create this anchor tag so let's tap const a for the anchor tag equals document dot create element and we'll create an a tag and you can name these elements anything you want card and a and the next thing we need to do is we need to add the href so here we need to add the link of the course so let's set the attribute and for that you have to type a dot set attribute href and we need to set the attribute value to this value right here url value so let's type url value over here all right let's go back to the html and the next thing we need to have is this category so we need to have a division with the class of category so let's create a constant let's name it category equals document dot create element we need to have a div and uh, let's add a class of category so let's type category dot class list dot add category and in this category we need to add this uh, category value so here we can see we have art displayed over here so let's add that for that you have to type category dot inner html equals and uh, we have named it category value over here so let's type category value all right let's go back to the html and the next thing we need to have is this image so let's create an img tag so let's type const img equals document dot create element and we need to create an img element and for the img we need to set the src attribute to the course thumbnail so let's type img dot set attribute src and we need to set it to the thumbnail value so let's type thumbnail value over here all right let's go back to the html and the next thing we need to have is this h2 with a class of title and in that we have this title value so let's create a constant let's name it title equals document dot create element and let's create an h2 and let's give it a class of title so let's type title dot class list dot add title and in that we need to have the title value so here we can see we have it named title value so let's type title dot inner html equals title value all right let's go back to the html and the next thing we need to have is the description so we need to have a division with a class of description so let's type const description equals document dot create element div and uh, description dot class list dot add and we'll give it a class of description and let's type description dot inner html and we need to set it to the description value so let's type description value and the next thing we need to have is this division with the class of info so let's create a division let's type const info equals document dot create element div and let's give it a class of info and the next thing we need to have is this division with a class of price so let's create a const and let's give it a name of price equals document dot create element and let's create a div and let's give it a class of price and in the price we need to have this price value so let's type price dot inner html equals price value and let's go back and the next thing we need to have is the duration so let's create a division with the class of duration so let's type const duration equals document dot create element div 
and let's give it a class of duration and the next thing we need to have is this division with a class of time icon so let's type const time icon equals document dot create element div and let's give it a class of time icon and in this time icon we need to add this SVG so let's copy this SVG code from here and let's go back and uh, here we'll just type time icon dot inner HTML equals and we'll just add it inside template literals so I'll just paste it over here and the next thing we need to have is this division with the class of value and in that we have the value so let's create a division let's type const value equals document dot create element div and let's give it a class of value and inside value we need to have this duration value so here we can see we have the duration value let's add it over here let's type value dot inner html equals duration value now that we have created all these elements we need to create a proper markup so we need to add some divisions inside other divisions and so on so I'll just create a comment over here and I'll just type appending elements all right now let's go back to our html file and let's see how these elements are structured here we can see that the card division is inside the courses container division so the first thing we need to have is uh, the reference of this courses container division so let's go back to our javascript file and uh, let's create a constant over here and let's name it courses container equals document dot query selector and let's type courses container over here right now let's scroll down and uh, we need to add the card inside the courses container so let's type courses container dot append child and here we need to add the card so for the card we have given it a name of card so let's add that over here card right now let's go back and in the card we need to have the anchor tag so let's type card dot append child and here we need to type a if you scroll up we can see that we have given it a name of a right now the next thing we need to have is the category so it should be inside the anchor tag so let's type a dot append child and uh, category and in the anchor tag we also need to have the image so let's type a dot append child and for the image we have given it a name of img so let's type img over here and in that we also need to have the h2 which is the title so let's type a dot append child and for the title we have a name of title so let's type title over here and then we need to have the description so let's type a dot append child and we have named it description and the next thing we need to have is this division with the class of info so for that we have created this constant with the name of info so let's add that a dot append child info now the next thing we need to do is inside the info division we need to have the price so let's type info dot append child price and in that we also need to have the duration so let's type info dot append child duration and now in the duration we need to have the time icon so let's type duration dot append child time icon and in the duration we also need to have this value so let's type duration dot append child value All right so now we have created the structure of our course cards now the last thing we need to do is we need to call this function display course and we need to call that function for all the objects that we have inside the course so for that we will use a for each loop so let's create a function for that let's type const generate course data and uh, 
let's tap courses which is the name of the array dot for each to loop through all the courses and uh, for each of the courses we will just give it a name of C you can name this anything you want right now for each of the course we need to call the function display course so let's tap display course and we need to pass all these arguments for the function so the first thing we need to have is the URL value now we can access the individual courses using C and if we tap dot we can see all these options over here let's select URL for the first one and the next one is title so let's tap C dot title and then we have C dot category and then we have C dot thumbnail then we have C dot description then we have C dot price then we have C dot duration right, so that's it with the function call now we can go back to our HTML file and we can just delete all of these uh, lines of code for the cards all right so here you can see I have deleted all the lines of code for the cards now we're going to generate all of them using JavaScript so let's call the function over here let's tap generate course data and uh, let's go back to our browser and here we can see that all the courses are displayed over here now if you go back to our JavaScript and if you go to the array and if I make some changes over here so if I just type for beginners over here and if you go back to the browser here we can see that the title is updated over here now if you go back and if you delete one of these courses from here and if you go back to the browser we can see that we just have three courses you can also add more courses over here so if I just copy and paste this down here now here we can see we have five courses so in this way you can go ahead and uh, add and remove new courses to your design all right so that's basically how you can use javascript to dynamically display the courses over here using the data from this array now you can get the data from an api if you want and do the same things over here it doesn't matter so that's basically it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Thank <laughs> you.